Hello, I'm Bill Mobley and this is Neurosciences Connections. It's a production of the Department of Neurosciences at UCSD. Uh, I'm meeting today with John Ravitz, a new member of our faculty who's come to us from Seattle, Washington, and whose interest is in motor neuron disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, if you will. Uh, as you may know, this is a very important disease entity, one for which there are no treatments right now, and one which has exacts special burden on patients and families. And so it's my great pleasure to be with you, John. Uh, please tell us a bit about you, uh, where you came from, what your ideas are, and what's, what's special about your coming to UCSD in your view? Well, thank you, Bill. Um, the, I was in Seattle, Washington at a, uh, or a medical care delivery organization which was primarily focused on uh, patient care. And during that time, I built up a research program which was getting into uh, gene expression into some uh, high level cutting edge uh, research directions. So I have the opportunity at UCSD to not only bring the clinical and help develop further the clinical programs here at UCSD, but to bridge with an awesome team of scientists that are already in place and that need, need to bridge with somebody in the clinical realm. So having someone who takes care of patients and does patient-related research is a unique contribution to UCSD at this time. It's, a, it's an incredible niche because uh, the disease we see in the clinic is, it needs to be modeled into the uh, research realm and there are some um, significant differences. So trying to bridge the clinical realm with the science realm is a huge opportunity. And I guess it's pretty hard too. I mean, there are a lot of important questions, aren't there, in ALS? There, there are many important questions. The biggest one is what causes it and how does it progress? John, what would you say is the most interesting recent finding coming from your laboratory? Well, in, in my laboratory, uh, one of the unique features that we have is that we're actually collecting the specific nervous systems from patients. Mm -hmm. So we're able to, to look right in at the disease cells, the motor neurons, and then uh, profile gene expression and much of the gene function. So one of the opportunities that I have that a scientist doesn't have is to gather the material together in a way that's preserved for study and then to study it with new technologies. And you think this will give us unique insights into the disease and its progression? I think it's going to give us a whole new set of ideas and a whole new look at the disease, yes. Excellent. What, uh, what kinds of things uh, uh, are different at UCSD that are going to make it possible for you to be even more successful than in the past? Well, uh, right now in place at UCSD, you have one of the great neuroscience departments in the country. You have one of the great uh, cellular and molecular medicine departments, pharmacology, stem cell biology, genome science. So they're already all in place. And uh, so it's a unique opportunity, a tremendous opportunity for me to just bridge and start working with the scientist here. And you're right together with them and you're in, within not such a far walking distance really from all these laboratories. Correct, I'm right, right next door and we're all conferencing together already. That's wonderful. John, thank you for being on the show, and, and, and really, this is great to have you here, and we just look forward to wonderful things in the future. Thank you very much. Thanks, John.